good to me. Alright, so to kick off this show, we're going to have Darren grab his chainsaw. Uh, okay. He's going to head on out to the front there. There's a block of wood. He's going to carve you guys something real nice out of that. Uh, right, Darren? Yeah, sure. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Real nice. Yeah, this real time. nice. Look at this. He said, make something nice. Right here. I bet you by the end of the show, all these nice folks are going to want one of these. Why would they want one of those? Well, it's the Souvenir P&E Lumberjack DVD. Yeah, I got our whole show on here. Thought we'd sell a few later. Be rich in no time. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make tens of dollars. Yeah, okay, it's a good idea. I'm going to start right here. Ten bucks, sir. Ten bucks. No cash? I'll, I'll take Visa. Don't ask me where I'm going to swipe it, though. All right, Darren, what? why don't you just give away that first one as a free promo? Uh, yeah, how about, how about no? Just give it away to everyone. Sure cut into the profit. Come on. All right, fine. First one's free. Who wants the first one? Okay. Uh, nobody wants it. I don't think anybody wants it. Come on, Darren. There you go, man. <laughs> He's thrilled. He's yeah. absolutely thrilled. I know, right? Yeah. Do you know what a DVD is, Jen? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, no Probably idea. Not. <laughs> All right, Darren. All right, advice. nice. No, no, no. Don't go anywhere. What? Well, I asked you to make something nice. And clearly I did. They all wanted it. And all you <laughs> made was that crappy DVD. <laughs> See? See? It's awesome. So I was thinking maybe you could try again. Uh, something a little bit more impressive this time. All right. Well, there's some more tree. I guess I can try again. You know what, actually? Lauren, if I just kept going, I could make a whole box set for the little guy. Please don't. You sure? No! You seem like you want this. Darren! <laughs> All right, fine. I'll try something else. <laughs> all the pieces and then put it together all right we'll just give you a minute then yeah hang on there we go Ta -da. wow tough crowd let's try again Ta -da. No, yeah, no don't clap for that what? that just encourages him oh, look, it's really cool Jenny. what is that what is it oh you see i just got back from disneyland lord custom made mickey mouse ears they're pretty cool, eh? No, they're not. Yes, they're they terrible. Oh. Come on, Darren. What else did you make besides a really big mess? Well, I made one of these. Look, I created life. Huh? I created life. Oh, I heard you. <laughs> oh. I meant, what the heck are you talking about? Oh, I can explain everything. Uh, well, you see, I was up really early this morning. I was wandering around, and they got all those critters in that barn down there. Yeah? Yeah, they were milking one of these. How are they? Oh, hang on a second. Darren, if they were milking something like this, these things were probably pointed the other way around. Oh. Right, guys? They point the other way. He liked way. it. You got one thing, Lauren. You know what? You're, you're right, though, Lauren. They point down. They're like this. Hey. Oh, my God, look at that. He made a cute little chair. Oh. He thought he was supposed to. That's actually, that's actually way better than a cow. Well, we no, can no, use a chair. Oh, Check out how sturdy this little thing is. Holding up all of this. Isn't that amazing? Hey, uh, not that amazing. <laughs> well, I don't know, Darren. That looks a little small for you. No, it's, it's, it's perfect. Look, it's it's just a one cheeker. Exactly. It's a one cheeker. Yeah. You need a smaller butt to fit in that small chair. No, it's, it's a good size butt. No, Darren, you need to find a smaller butt to fit in that small chair. All right. Well, how about we find, like, the youngest person here? That's, That's the Ladies, throw your babies. No, don't throw your babies. 
No? Okay, maybe don't throw your babies then. Someone really young. Is there someone that... Oh, right there. Perfect. Yep, yeah, right here. Tell you what. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like it's the right size. Can we have a test drive? Let's see if it fits. The kid's looking at me like, get away, stranger. So I'll come over here. Get away, stranger danger. <laughs> Pretty close. I think it fits. Yay! All right. Looks like a perfect fit. You're going home with uh, some custom furniture, courtesy of the West Coast Lumberjack Show. All right. So by now, you guys have probably noticed we got uh, a couple of green shirts over here. We've got a couple of red shirts over there. Now I think we're going to need to split up this crowd and give these guys a very own turn. Split them up right now. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Split them up. What, with an axe? Yeah, just like you said. I had it all figured out. I made a plan and everything. I was going to take this girl right here, split her right down the center. We'll have like 200 and a half on that side, 200 and a half on that side. Whatever's left of her can cheer for both sides. Well, no, Scott, we're not going to do that. Well, I'm going to do it. No. <laughs> I'm going to split the crowd up with my hand. How can we always do things she your way? She badly flinched, but that woman behind was getting ready to run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to split up the crowd right here. So that means that from you, from you, all the way around here, you guys are all cheering for the green side. Let's hear it. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Right, that means that from you better. right here, all the way around here, you guys are all cheering for the red side. Oh, oh, right. pretty no, good. no, no. Hold on a second, Lauren. We got a problem. What? What? Well, these guys, they weren't really ready for it. They weren't really that warmed up or anything. I think we should probably get a do-over. What? You think they can do better than that? I think they can do way better than that. What do you guys think? All right, here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. On the count of three, you're going to go crazy. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Take that. Whatever. <laughs> All right, for our first event here, we're going to get the guys to grab their chainsaws, because we're having a chainsaw race. Woo now, Scott's already got his saw out over here. Sure do. And I don't know too much about chainsaws, so, Scott, can you just uh, give us a little rundown of the saw that you're using today? I sure can. This bad boy right here is a brand new Husqvarna 562 XP, and I did a little bit of work to this thing at home last night. Mm -hmm. I souped it up just a little bit. I gave it some chrome muffler bearings, some liquid metal valve spring, matter and antimatter fuel injectors, and a dual density, double core chick magnet. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, that she just sounds... screams too. She's working full swing at the moment. Amazing. <laughs> Almost yeah. unbelievable, really. Really? You yeah. think so? No, Hot is doing some real weird stuff these days. Yeah, it sounds like it. Really experimenting, pushing the limits of chainsaw design, you know? Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, what is he doing over there? He's He's kind of awkward looking. Oh. He's hot. He, he always looks like that. You want to check that out, eh? Maybe hide. All right. Uh, Darren, what? Scott thinks you're hiding something over here. What's going on? No, no, I'm just uh, getting comfortable over here. You know, waiting for the race to start. You look comfy. Well, it's wait. pretty comfy. Yeah. Can you just move your arms out of the way for a minute? I... No, come on. Really move your arms out of the no, way. I think I'm there might be comfy. something Let's under there. Start the race. How about you turn the saw around? Let's start. Three, Darren, two, one, go. Darren, I need you to move go. your arms out of the way or spin no. the saw around. No. Darren, no. Richard, Dean, spin it around. Hi, mother. What? What the heck is that? It's a chainsaw. See, look. Bar, chain, big shiny orange saw thing that makes it work. It's a chainsaw, just like that one. No. Well, no, Darren, it's not just like saw. What is this big silver thing out here? Don't worry about that, Lauren. I only use that when the saw gets really, really warmed up anyway. Well, what is it for? Well, that's my new hair dryer. Come on, your hair dryer? Yeah, works good. Want to try? No, thank you. Oh, it looks like it works too well. It's blowing the color right out of there. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. You know what, Darren? I think your saw looks a little bit more powerful than Scott's, actually. No, right. no, no, no. I th guys, we're going to have to change the rules here. We do. So today we're going to have Darren do two cuts, and Scott's going to do one. What? Two, two to one? Yeah, two to one. Oh, that's fair, but oh. Well. What do you guys think, Red Side? We do two to one with this? Woo! Oh, I think that's a yes. I'll give it a try. All right, go ahead and warm up those saws, guys. Cute little saw there, Scott. What? Yeah, my sister's got a pink one like that. Oh, yeah, I know. I got it for her after our first date.
Police are loud! <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> All right, well, I think the songs are nice and warm now. So, like I said, we're going to be doing two cups to one here today. Who do you guys think is going to win this one? <laughs> Make sure you guys cheer them on. Competitors ready. Three, two, one, go! Scott did really well. He came in second place. We got guys. second! Yes! I'm always winning second. Oh, you got second. What? Not we. Oh, yeah, you didn't even show up. Oh, all right, on to our next event. These guys are going to put away the chainsaws. They're going to show you what it was like to be a lumberjack back in the day before they had chainsaws. In the olden days. <laughs> You now lumberjacks just have all kinds of names for these saws. They used to call them the seven foot peg and raker or a sweet fiddle. And after using one for 10 or 12 hours in the forest, they might even call it a misery whip. Today we're just going to call it a cross cut saw. Cool. First team to make it all the way through their block of wood is going to be our winner. Make sure you guys cheer them on. Competitors ready? Oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh. What's going on? I think I hurt my back. <laughs> you hurt your back? Yeah, I bent over getting ready and I hurt my back. So what are you, you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. There, there. you don't have to go on here. Why don't you just uh, like stand up, stretch it out or something? Uh, I don't know if that will help, but I ain't sure. Hey! hey. hey. Uh, wait a minute. What's that all Darren, what was that? I'm just stretching my back out like you said. Yeah, you Thanks pulled, for the advice, it's feeling way better. You pulled the saw all the way through the piece of wood there. Yeah, but my back is feeling amazing now. And it's my health that's important, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It is. Come on, put that saw back where it was. Find my back. Hey, hey come yeah. on! What do you think you're doing? You said put it back. It was over here, and now it's back over there. No, no, I meant pick it up and put it back, not saw through some more log. Oh, yeah, but you didn't say that. It's got to be more specific. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First, don't you? Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, he pulls first, so the saw has to be over here to start. We're good now. Alright, alright. Wow. We must be good now. We've been ready the whole time. Alright, make sure you guys cheer the green side on extra loud. Looks like they're a little bit behind and the race hasn't even started yet. Competitors ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> You know could we what? Like go any faster, do you think? What's that? Could we go any faster? Oh, I could. I don't know. What about you? <laughs> you know what? I got an idea. What? Let's just test that theory, okay? What do you think? Okay. We'll, we'll give him a rematch. You know what? This time, you guys can use any saw you got. We're going to sure. smoke you anyway. Yeah. All right. We'll try again. You know what? We'll take a rematch for him, but you know what? I think I, uh, I better grab the wrong saw for that. Uh, this one seems like it's a bit dull. Can I grab a sharper one? Darren, if you've got a sharper saw, absolutely go ahead and grab that. Well, I thought this was the sharp one, but I don't know. It didn't seem like it was working right. Excellent. You might want to start with the sharp one. Oh, that one, Nick. Yeah, Make sure. Right. Get that one. Hey, hold on. Hey! No, no, no. Hey. Hang on a second. Who are you, kid? <laughs> <laughs> go home. Why, why are you out here with a chainsaw? We're having a cross-cut race. So it's this guy. He knows. They said I can use any saw, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. That's any that's one any. of these. Yep. Right. That's, uh -huh. that's the any saw. Well, the any hang on, I don't think this is going to be fair now. Sure it is. How many horsepower you got in here? Well, this saw here, this saw's got 9.85 horsepower in it. 9.85? Well, how many horsepower do you think they got over there? I don't know about horsepower. Oh, I see two dumb jackasses. Hey! Hey, look, look, Lord. There's a big one and an ugly one. <laughs> I must be the big one. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Mark, we have a heavy duty extra sensory perception problem over here. What is that? You sorry, do? What? <laughs> the house, yeah. Pardon me. Yes, we do. Nick over there, he's been yapping away for so long, wasting time. 
our saw has cooled off. We need to warm it up. Yeah, it's super cold. But no, you yeah. guys don't warm up those saws. We do. With this one you do. No, you don't. Cold. You bury the teeth a little bit to get your cut started, like usual. Go ahead, bury those teeth. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can bury it. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, huh? here, which way? You're right. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah, just like that. That'll work. That's good. That's good. Guys, that's good. Hey, 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 hey,
Uh, feeling great. Feeling great. How are you guys feeling? Can I stand the or something? <laughs> Come on, Sir Darren on here. Back and throw coming up. There we go. There you go. Okay, full by over on the red side. That brings him up to seven points. Seven to nine. Still a close race. Last throw coming up on the green side. Come on, green side. Put those hands together. Four. It's only a four. Four. Alright, what are you, uh, you're at 13. Yes, that's correct. Oh, and, uh, you're at 7. Never mind. Where are you going? So, I'm Darren, done. Darren's done the math, I don't know if you guys have, but, um, at this point it would be downright impossible for him to win. So did I win? I can't even catch up. But, well, then he's only got, worth five points. He's got one throw left, and, uh, nobody likes to quit her, Darren. You guys want to see but him I need, like, throw, seven, right? don't I, or six? Or I said you guys want to see him throw his last throw, right? Yeah. I can't even win, though. Come on, Darren, you got one throw Come left. On. Maybe it'll be a bull bite. You can end on a good Hey, wait a second. What's going on? Darren, you got one throw left. One. Yeah, but you didn't say how many axes I could throw. Are you going to throw both those axes at the same time? Yeah, should be twice as good, right? Yeah, or twice as bad. I can't catch up with one axe, so I need two. I don't think uh, that's how many point points do you have, Brad? Thirteen. Thirteen. Got thirteen. You got seven. seven. So I need seven to win. Okay. Six to tie, seven to win. Seven all right. Tie. All right. These folks you... better cheer because these things are heavy. What do you guys think about five cheer? Are you? Both axes at the same time. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Oh, it's a tie. I got six to tie. He took those both axes and it ends oh, up with a tie. It's, it's a tie? Oh, good, right? Oh. So, so I don't think break. we can leave it as a tie, right? I don't think so. That's unreal. So I think we need to go to sudden death. What do you guys think? Sudden death, I'm for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet you're each going to take one more throw in the corner. I will take one more. more. Yeah, but Patrick Bullseye is going to be the winner. Whoa. You, the eyeballs that just looked at me right through those glasses. I'm going over here where I belong. I thought you were going to sudden death him to death. <laughs> no. Sudden death him to death. No, he was going to sudden death me to death. All right, we're doing one more throw closest to that. Perfect. Bullseye right down the center is going to be the winner. Who's cheering for that? I know, I'm doing too. Yeah. Three Three side. Side. Okay. And who's cheering for Darren on the right side? <laughs> Son, he's destined to death, Brad. Thank Wait, you. No. <laughs> I try. All right, on to our next event. I'm sure you guys have noticed we got uh, two lovely looking climbing trees at the back of our oh. stage. Now we've got Scott and Nick. They're all tied into these trees. They got their spurs on their feet. They're going to be racing to the top of these poles. They're going to ring those cowbells up there and come back down as fast as they can. But we haven't started yet, guys. What are you doing? We're just what? practicing what? our pole dancing. Your pole dancing? Yeah. Well, see, COVID was pretty rough for traveling lumberjacks, so we had to start branching no, out. No, no, oh. get down. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. I'm pretty I sure he came up with that. Pretty sure he went broke. For goodness <laughs> sakes. All right. Now, they're going to make this look pretty easy, but trust me, folks, it is not. So it's very important that you guys cheer them all the way up and all the way back down these trees. Can you do that? Come on guys, they're doing all the hard work, all you have to do is cheer them up and down, can you do it? Competitors ready, three, two, one, go! And it goes to Nick on the red side! Whatever. <laughs> You get A for effort. All right, on to our next event here. We're going to get Brad and Darren to grab their chopping axes. We've got two blocks of wood on the stage here. They're going to be doing a standing hard hit. Now that means the lumberjack who can make it all the way through their block of wood in the fewest number of hits is going to be the winner. So Darren's going to start things off on the red side. He's going to be chopping about halfway through his block of wood. And you're all going to count along with me, right red side? <laughs> Five of them are counting, that's it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Whatever, I All can right. count. Okay. Can you? Oh. I tried it once, I didn't get very hard. Not this hard, just around on the fingers. One! One. Two!
you got clever on me. Tell me how this lovely 18-inch wave turns cedar log in the center of our pond here. Now this log is carpeted from end to end, and there's a center line right down the middle. The only rules are these guys can't touch each other, and they can't cross that center line. Hard, well, stop, stop. Yeah. I'm not doing this. Okay. What? It's really deep in there, and I can't swim. No, it's okay, Darren. It's not that deep. It's it about up to your waist. If you fall in, you can just get up. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. These are my good pants. I can't get them wet. But you're definitely going to get Really? But I'm just going to go over to Playland later and go on the ride. If I've got wet pants, I'm going to look like an idiot, right? <laughs> yeah. That's why you look like an idiot. Really? Listen, Darren, I don't know what to tell you. You're definitely going to fall in. You're definitely going to get wet. Oh, no, I can't. Get... You got to do it. Well, um... Oh, hang on. You know what? I just got that new Speedo. I'll go grab that. Yeah, hang on. Well, no, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Darren. You can't come out here in a Speedo. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's okay. It's all good. It's just a tiny little thing. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's, it's red plaid. It's got lumberjack suspenders on it. It's really cool. Hang on. I don't think anyone... I'm almost ready. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I don't think anyone wants to see that. Well, no, I don't want to see that. It's okay. Do you know how to log roll? Uh, I think we should wait for Darren. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're going to probably have Nick and Scott do the log rolling. What do you guys think? Yeah. That'll work, right? Well, well that's some practice. All right, so as I was saying, they can't cross the central line, they can't touch each other, but pretty much anything else goes. We're doing the best two out of three rolls here today. Lumberjack is going to stay on that log the longest. It's going to be the winner. Who are you guys cheering for out there? Yeah. All right, put those hands together. Cheer these guys on. Let's get them out there for their first roll. What are you doing? Hop on out. Come on. Hmm? Get out. We're doing another roll. What are you doing? I was just warming up the water a little bit. <laughs> That's disgusting. Get out of there. Gross. All right. So, second roll coming up. Scott needs to win this one if he wants to stay in it. Who's Jeremy Scott? And who says no? Oh. <laughs> the second roll goes to Scott on the green side. Guys, give a great big round of applause. Nick, are you okay? I need first aid. <laughs> Guys, does anyone have a really tiny band-aid out there for Nick? Great big one. Listen, we're doing two out of three. Are you going to be okay? I got one left. What? <laughs> one roll left. He's got one more roll left in him, guys. All right. Here we go. Final roll. Who's it going to be? Red side or green side? Come on, guys. Get them in. Enjoy the show. Make sure you go tell all your friends. If you didn't, please don't tell anyone. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon at the PE. Maybe we'll see you guys later. Thank you. All right, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. Fries? Poutine?